G'day, I'm Andrew Norton and I'm testing the Crown MPC 3000 today for ATN magazine. This is a multi-purpose lift truck. You can use it as an order picker, which can raise or lower the load while materials are being stacked or unstacked. That means there's no need for an operator to bend over as he works. And with an MPC 3000, you can use it as a regular forklift to replenish from the pallets above, which eliminates the need for a second forklift. Up until this truck, I'd never before tested a Crown product. Here was a truck that had the steering wheel and controls at what on a conventional forklift would be the rear of a truck and the master of fork tines at what is traditionally the front. Despite its tiny size, this Crown is packed with clever features. I love the idea of a tough, safe, perspex screen that allows operators a clear view of the fork tines. There's plenty of space for a fold-out and height-adjustable seat. A compact dashboard has a battery charge indicator and keypad startup once a four-digit code has been entered. Two maximum travel speeds are available for either novice or experienced operators and these are set by a little switch ahead of the main forklift lower switches. And these incidentally are yellow to distinguish them from the grey direction switches. A useful touch of fork raise lower switches either side that enable an operator to raise or lower a load without standing in the truck. To prevent the fork tines dropping to the normal 50mm height off the ground and potentially crushing the steel caps of a careless operator, the tines don't drop all the way down. The machine is set up so that once battery charge drops to, say, 20%, only the traction and power steering motors function. This enables the truck to return to its charging point. Access to the drive and hydraulic motors and the battery pack is absolutely brilliant. Two hinged clips access the battery pack. There's a single fill point for the cells and Crown recommends using only demineralized water. Removing another couple of screws accesses the nerve center of the truck. It's a vertically mounted AC traction motor flanked to its right by the power steering motor. This is simply the best motor access I've ever seen on a battery forklift. First impression was how much room there was in the footwell space. I could easily turn to the front or back without my belly getting stuck in the opening between the battery enclosure and screen mounting base. Having AC drive motors, you can operate this machine with real precision. Once I had the hang of the thumb control, I could switch to the hair control, which still gave me precise control off the mark but a faster travel speed. One thing I did notice was that despite the relatively skinny traction wheel, the truck was not at all skittish at maximum travel speed. The power steering had good feel, but I did find that negotiating tight corners meant I had to swing wide to prevent the fork tines clobbering objects. I guess that was just part of my familiarisation process. Now for the acid test to retrieve a one ton pallet and take it to a truck tray, then back again. With the truck's tight turning circle, I was able to back up to the stack, then, looking through the screen, clearly see where the tines were in relation to the pallet. I slid the tines in, applied slight raise pressure to lift the pallet clear of the stack, retrieved the load, then moved forward sufficiently to lower the pallet to just above floor level. A quick about face and I could back the pallet up to the tray, then a complete reversal to return the pallet to its original stacking position. With a little practice, the whole procedure could be done very quickly, such as the control that an AC drive system provides. Whichever truck is chosen, all have excellent build quality and finish that will easily stand up to daily operation where operators may be less than gentle. Crown has designed and developed a truly multi-purpose series of trucks that should provide a fast ROI. Read a full report on the MPC 3000 in an upcoming issue of Australasian Transport News.